جميعا جمعيات سياسيه مستقلين شباب حركه شعبيه في كل مكان سنه شيعه نوحد انفسنا حول مطلب رئيسي هذا المطلب الرئيسي هو دستور يكتبه الشعب In Bahrain, you have to either be with the regime or you have to pay a price. So if you say, we don't have rights in Bahrain, you're inciting hatred. If you speak out directly about the king, that's another case against you. And if you're calling for democracy, for them, that is terrorism. يجب أن نشعر السلطة أن نرسل رسالة للسلطة بأنها إذا استمرت في انتهاك الحقوق في الاحتفاظ بالمعتقلين في السجون في تعذيب المعتقلين في سقوط مزيد من الشهداء يجب أن نرسل لها رسالة بأن هذا سوف يكلفها غاليا وسوف يحاسب كل شخص وكل مسؤول من أعلى سلطة من الملك ورئيس الوزراء وكل شخص مسؤول في هذه الدولة يجب أن يحاسب على ما يحاسب Being the eldest daughter, I was very interested in what my dad was doing. And I would come and check what he was doing, and I'd see lists and lists and lists of names, and then their ages, and they would be as young as 12 and 11, 13 year olds. And then next to them, it would say like the date of arrest, if they've been tortured or not, if there's enough details about that. And I remember asking him to help him make those lists. My father never asks people to do something. He leads by example. He is excellent at translating um, his empathy into work. People were afraid to say the names of the people in government. They were afraid to say the name of the prime minister or the king. One of the things my father is good at is breaking that fear. He had a mission to show people that you can speak out. They're ruling us with fear. We have to fight. In 2011, like in many countries in the Arab world, a revolution happened in Bahrain. Over the years, my father had been working to teach people how to take a stand, what their rights are, and how to demand those rights. By doing that, my father and others around the region, they planted the seeds for these revolutions to happen. I mean, at one point when I was in Bahrain, I was in prison with my son Hadi. And at that point, it was three generations of my family in prison. And I kept asking the prison administration if we could have a visit with my father. Finally, they came one day to my prison cell and they said, get up like it. your father's being brought here. And he came in his prison uniform and I came in in my prison uniform and he had police with him and I had uh, prison guards with me. And I can't even describe to you the feeling of him like, taking Hadi from my hand and like playing with him. I think what pains him most in this world is when he feels helpless to help others. That is the most painful thing my father can experience. He can take being tortured, but he can't take other people being tortured and him not being able to do something about it.
I tried very much to ask the committee, my family, my friends, and the committee, not to concentrate on me as a person or my release, mm -hmm. but to concentrate on main goal, the people rights. Mm -hmm.